Hi, this is Mary and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back with you all. Um, I had been out for a while due to an illness, but I am, I am back again and I'm um, sorry for the long delay. <laughs> and for those who are still, um, chose to hang in there and, um, continue to be my subscribers even without any new content. I certainly do appreciate you all being here. And let's go ahead and get right into what we're going to do. Um, I have a, a mishmash of papers off to the side over here and you're probably thinking, well this is really pretty. Why would you want to cover that up? Well because this is just a really thick um, paper and I think that It'll be kind of really nice to, um, you know, glue on it, really. <laughs> so this is going to be like my little, um, um, like a master board of doing kind of like um, um, a mix of just tearing pieces of paper to, um, you know, to be able to use in um, my crafting. I'm not sure what it's called. My mind just went blank, but <laughs> for those of you that really know more about doing altering books and things like that, and uh, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I cannot think of it right now, so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> but anyway, I don't normally do this, but I will say that a large part of, well, I don't know, I'm hoping I'll use some of this stuff, but I just wanted to give a big shout out to um, my Daydreaming Heart, because this was a, a mix, um, a mishmash of um, papers that are actually from different sources of dictionary papers. And it's just a really lovely um, mix of them, you know, with medical and all kinds of different things. And it's just really cool. And you don't really know what you're getting when you order. And she has an Etsy shop. And, um, but hey, that's okay with me. And then um, what I also got from her, well, I got some... Um, you know, decoupaging, you know, napkins that I decoupage with. So I'm not going to dig those out right now. But I had also ordered these math flashcards, you know, and you can use these in your um, various ways in your crafting. But I'm not going to be using those tonight. So I just thought I would get started by just, um, you know, um, <laughs> Just starting to glue some of this stuff down. So I hope that you'll stay with me as we get together on this then. Oh my. But um, I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. My husband and I just spent a very quiet Christmas here. We didn't go anywhere or anything like that. And, um, let's see. And of course, you know, <clears throat> where I, we live, it does not seem like Christmas at all because we have no snow. Um, the weather has been really decent and, uh, maybe not always, you know, sunny skies or anything like that, but it's been, um, pretty, pretty fair weather actually. I think the weather is supposed to get a little bit colder, um, but that's to be expected. I kind of wonder if we will actually see any more, or any snow actually for that matter, this year, or next year. <laughs> Which next year is coming pretty quick, isn't it? Which is just amazing to me, actually. This must have been from a medical um, one here. 
And now I'm going to kind of mix this up with some other paper here. So it's um, going to be a random kind of thing, I think. Just going to tear. I'm not going to really um, have. But anyway, um, I think the last time I made a video was when I used the alcohol inks. And um, I got quite a few views on the um, short that I made, and that was wonderful. I hope I can get through this video without sneezing or anything like that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not sure if I told you, but it was not, I did not have COVID or anything like that. It was not the flu or nothing like that. But, um, <laughs> but I'm better now, so I'm glad to be feeling back in the swing of things, I just, it's not good to feel bad, you know, really. But anyway, I <clears throat> was going to start my video a little bit earlier today, but um, you know how that goes. You know, you plan that you're going to do something, and then what happens is other things come up. So that's exactly, you know, what happened was that. Things come up. Now, of course, not all these papers, the decorative papers, are not from um, my daydreaming heart or anything. These are just um, papers that I had on hand. But it's mainly the, um, the dictionary papers that... Um, so... Oh, this is kind of neat. Yeah, I just want to do some random, um, hmm. random gluing of some things and just kind of hate to tear that, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tear it because that's what you do. Anyway. I hope that if I have already asked this, um, if I have already repeated myself, I'm sorry, but um, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. And I probably already asked that anyway, but, um, and I hope that you all have a happy new year. I hope that we all have a good new year, actually. So it's hard to think that it'll be 2024. <laughs> So, anyway, I know this is about as much fun to watch somebody glue something as it is to maybe watch somebody paint. I don't know. If this is too boring for you, then um, by all means, <laughs> go forward through the video. And um, it's just I had to start with some sort of a video, so... I didn't want to lose my audience too much, you know. I know that um, not everybody is willing to wait for another video to come out. They probably think, well, I think this person has flown the coop. And I didn't want you to think that I had. Let's see, I might go ahead and cut this. And... Um, no, there is a crease in this one, but that's okay. I'm just going to cut this here. I want to add some color to this, <clears throat> and it's not going to be exactly um, straight or anything like that. <laughs> I always wondered what a crumpet was. It's a soft round cake, which is toasted and buttered. Mm, that sounds good, doesn't it? I think that's where I want that. So let's go ahead and glue that down. 
I really have not been at my desk to craft in a long, long time uh, because, you know, when you're ill, you don't really, at least I don't know what other people do. Maybe other people put together puzzles or something. I don't know. <laughs> but when you are feeling ill, I, well, I don't know about you, but I when I was feeling ill, I should rephrase that, when I was feeling feeling bad. Um, I don't normally feel like crafting or anything like that. I just um, pretty much was felt, you know, like I had no energy. You know, and as I get older, I guess I just um, got to realize that it's just going to take a little bit longer to uh, recuperate. And that's exactly what it was like just it just takes a long time to recuperate so anyway like I said this will be boring but that's that's okay you know you got to start somewhere and how many other video you know crafters out there that actually do uh, this kind of thing so you know I um, hmm, I don't really need all of that, so I'm just going to tear that. But I do want to add some color to this. So it's not just um, one color of the book pages. So, yeah. But I'm actually going to do something with this because um, I've been inspired by watching other people's um, oh videos, crafting videos, and um, I'm very glad to have found some new crafters out there that I've not heard of before. Let me see here, and I I think I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, get with another, let's see, another um, dictionary page here. Oh my, don't want that in there. <laughs> I should probably... Um, I don't know. I probably should cut that so it's not so jagged. I just need to get back into crafting. And, um, I, um, when, and also when you're working, I did not do much crafting either, so... I did manage to make my uh, Christmas cards this year, but I don't really send out a whole lot of Christmas cards anymore. Um, I used to send out more when my mother was still living, and I used to send a card to my aunt, of course, when she was still living. And um, But when you know a lot of family members are gone, you just kind of rely on sending um, people that you know as friends and things like that. Send them cards. And so, whoops. <laughs> really knocked that around a few times. So anyway, I'll try to get this video uploaded um, this evening. And, um, let's see here. I think I want some color up in this corner here. So I'm going to, this is just scrapbook paper. I think I want to put something up in here. Yeah. Don't, yeah, that is, um, actually...
you know what, I've forgotten that I have a glue book I can use to glue on, and what do you think that I don't use it? Ah! Well, I can tell you one thing, that's not it. Hang on just a second. I <clears throat> redid my um, craft room, and I um, have different places where I put stuff now. <clears throat> I am losing my voice. I find that I lose my voice sometimes at night. So that is just so weird. I don't do a lot of talking during the daytime, but um, <clears throat> that just seems to be uh, par for the course. Did I say that right? <laughs> I think I did. Okay, so, okay. I started and restarted this video, I don't know how many times already, and um, there's just really no good place to start a video sometimes, you know, after you've not taken time out to make a video for a long time. Remember when writing letters and you, um, there here's a blank page in front of you and you're like, well, I have no idea what to write. For those of you who maybe wrote letters way back in the day. And there might still be some people out there that actually write letters. I used to be a letter writer. Um, <laughs> I used to have pen pals back in um, when I was about 16, 17, all the way up until I was about 21. And believe it or not, I had about 21 pen pals that I wrote to. So, yeah. <laughs> it took a while to um, get to that point where I actually had that many pen pals. Um I, I really, really enjoyed writing letters, but it's the same, you know, when you don't write a letter for a long, long time, and you look at that page and you think, oh, it'll be easy to start a letter, but if you haven't written in a while, you just kind of look at that and you think, huh, I have no idea what, what to say. What, what do I say to this person? I haven't talked to them in a long time, or I haven't seen them in a long time. So it's just, it's kind of that way when I restart my videos and because I didn't know I was going to be actually gone this long, but, um, and I will say some of it probably was, um, me not really wanting to do videos. And I know that sounds pretty bad, but, um. I don't know, I was just sort of contemplating like, well, should I should I do videos? Are people really enjoying my videos and that sort of thing? You know, I mean, after a while, you kind of just wonder if if anybody is watching your videos. And, um, and I'm sure there are, you know, you know who you are who watch my videos. <laughs> and I certainly appreciate you. Also, just something... Um, rather ridiculous that happened um <laughs> i have a dog and um this is um actually before i had become ill um no i'm not allergic to our dog or anything but um our dog weighs about oh is she 55 maybe 56 pounds or something like that and um anyway she tends to like to jump up on me what dog doesn't unless your dog is trained and uh, my dog is not trained she when she's really happy she likes to jump up on you well anyway so um what had happened is she had jumped up on me but when she came back down she came back down on my big toe and uh, what happened was um, she bruised a bone and my toe turned all kinds of wonderful colors and um, <laughs> and no I didn't have it looked at by a doctor or anything like that but um, it just was weird how um, I know that's exactly what happened so it was just I thought wow dog you know <laughs> And now I'm just very careful um, about, you know, if I, I'm just wearing socks around in the house and if she's um, 
getting excited and um, and she wants to jump up on me I'm just real real careful now about her um, um, you know stepping on my toes again I don't really want her doing that so I kind of want to cover that up I don't really like that so I think I kind of want to do that and I kind of want to kind of stay in a certain color scheme so I do like that so that's what we're going to do then I'm gonna cover that up so yeah oh my gosh this is such snotty stuff but I like it, you know. Um, I like the Uhu stuff too, which is, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, this is Uhu stick glue. And I think I bought this on Amazon or something like that. It's kind of expensive, you know, because so many crafters use it, I guess. But um, these are some ones that I just happen to have. And then. I got these at our um, oh <laughs> at our office store before it closed out, and I thought I'll just you know give these a try, and you know they work, so that's that's good. But anyway, um, normally when you're making something like this, you don't want to use like a liquid glue or anything like that. You just want to use a stick glue. So. Anyway, that's what I'm using, and so I'm just using this Elmer's stuff. You don't have to go real expensive when you're doing things like this, or if you've never started making um, this kind of thing, then you want to know, well, how do I get started? Well, you just get some papers together and get your stick glue and go for it. <laughs> But anyway, so far, and I'm just going to leave that as my backing on the other side, so obviously. But anyway, uh, let's see here. I want to, oh, I did not realize I had, well, no, that's her thing that she put together. Well, let me see, what else do I have here? I have a lot of. Um, this is from a Graphic 45. I don't know if you're uh, familiar with that, but it's um, Graphic 45 papers. So I just want to, not really sure which way that goes. I think it goes this way. But I think I'd like to have more of the, um, yeah, more of the, um, not so much that bug. I don't want that bug in there. Whoops, you know what? I know that I cut that bad. That was a bad cut. But, you know, I could tell I was feeling better because I wanted to get my hair, um, you know, cut. I had not gone to a place to get my hair cut in a long, long time, and my hair had gotten pretty long and lifeless, basically. Excuse me a minute, I've got to find my tissue. <laughs> One thing I will not do is blow my nose on camera. <laughs> so I just want to at least do that. Okay, so. Anyway. Still can't think of what I want to call this this thing that I'm gluing together, but if you all know um, generally know what this is called, then leave me a comment in the comments below what it is called. I cannot think of it for the life of me. Guess what? I just emptied this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, well this is gone. Goodbye. <laughs> it's a good thing I have another one. So, anyway, I hope I, well, good, I can get this one off. I can tell I have not used this one in a while. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, brother, I did not want that to get all stuck there. So, let's see. Is that the right size for that? Right side, not size. <laughs> I, what do I even know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> but I do appreciate all my subscribers and... Um, I just love having you, knowing that you're there, you know, and um, knowing that you are, oh, wait a minute, I already have some of that. Let's just do another little bit of a book page here. We can find something that we want to use. Ugh, I don't want that. I don't want a medical one. I think some, a lot of this stuff is medical. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, we will just cut this. Also, I wanted to ask, um, which is your favorite um, holiday movie? I like that movie called White Christmas, and <clears throat> I want to say it was done in the 40s, maybe? Ooh, was it 40s? Or maybe very early 50s? Maybe it was the early 50s. I don't know if it was done in the 40s or the 50s because I was not around during <laughs> those years. But um, I do like that movie. And um, we were trying to watch it the other day um, when they offered it. Um, it was like a streaming thing on Amazon. But they kept interrupting it with um, these really stupid commercials. And I thought, wow. So my husband went ahead and ordered it off of Amazon. So I'm looking forward to getting that in the mail. But anyway, um, they just don't show that very often. Um, well, we stream a lot of our um, channels now. So, uh, yeah, we have the internet, but uh, we just don't pay for channels anymore. So we don't have, like, you know, Xfinity TV or anything like that because... We were sort of done with paying just for a lot of commercials. This is very snotty to work with. Okay, very good. All right. Yay. There we go. I'm trying to think. I'd like to put something else on here. If I can, if I can <laughs> find what I want to use. Just little bits and pieces here, I think. Use like that with the word dream. Um, maybe some of that. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. Um... Yeah, I think I will use that. And, um, oh, these are really thick, though. See these? I think I bought these at Hobby Lobby, and they're just a little bit on the thick side. They almost feel like chipboard or something. They're really pretty, but it's not... Mm, I don't really want to use them for this application, so I wish they were not so, you know, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to use this, I think, instead of this, okay, cool, that'll work, that will work, so, I want to 
going to go ahead and cut this. Anyway, yeah, I was talking about holiday movies. And, of course, I like It's a Wonderful Life. Um, Christmas with the Cranks. Uh, <laughs> where they plan on going on their Christmas cruise, but they end up giving it to the couple across the street. Um, some holiday movies, what they call holiday movies, isn't, to me, a holiday movie. I like the Christmas card that was a... Was that a Hallmark movie? Um, I don't know. Anyway, and I haven't watched the Christmas card in a while. And I like uh, the one with Henry Winkler in it. Um, let me think, what is it called? The Most Wonderful Time of the Year. And I think that's a, not sure, I think it's a Hallmark movie. And there's just a whole lot of other ones I do enjoy watching. Oh my goodness, I can tell I did not cut that correctly. I don't cut straight. <laughs> Even when I use a, a cutter, I don't um, cut straight. Oh my gosh, this. We have gone over 30 minutes. Oh my word, I think. Yeah, we do. Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, I want to go ahead and put this somewhere. But where, 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 and where do I want to put it? Oh, I like it there, I think. Hmm. Hang on just a second. <laughs> it's like... I just have a drippy nose. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't even like to talk about things like that on the video, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I just don't know where I want to put that. Maybe there? Oh, heck, let's just put it there. I'm trying to, you know, after I have not been at my desk crafting, I kind of forgot what I had. And then I get to looking at all my stuff and I think, oh my gosh. And I, I automatically felt overwhelmed. Isn't that just weird? Why would you feel overwhelmed over something like that? Not being in your craft room for a while. And my husband helped to motivate me to get my craft room um more or less back at um at a place where i can craft in it again oh that looks like a patchwork quilt when i look at it through my phone okay so i think i want the word dream and this is um yeah <laughs> i can't believe they already have um Valentine candy out. They really rush the seasons, I think, but that's all right. They want to. I think they have always done that, though, haven't they? Anyway, let's put maybe that there. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's just put it there. I wish I had some other words. Wait a minute. I do, actually. I think I do. Well, anyway. Also, I was going to do some product reviews because, um, no, I'm not going to, you know, do any, you know, nobody's going to be sponsoring me or anything like that, obviously, but, um, you have to have more subscribers for all that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, no, some products that I have purchased through scrapbook.com. Um, it is a um, something to keep your 12 by 12 um, um, papers in. And um, I was going to go ahead and... Uh, figure out if I really liked it or not, you know, and I was going to let you all know 
what I thought of it. So, now where is, hmm, I can't remember where I put all my ephemera, but I am going to go ahead and stick this on here as well. So, if I've been off camera, I'm, gosh, where is my mind? <laughs> So let's go ahead and maybe stick this over here, maybe. Uh, oh no, let's go over here with this, maybe. Maybe? Yeah, there's... I think <laughs> I want to cover up more of that over there. Let's go ahead and um, pardon my arm. Pardon my reach here. You know what, let's just go ahead and... and um, we can do full bloom there, but then I'll cover up the vintage. I kind of wanted to cover up some of, over here, some of the words that were on this particular um, sheet. Like the word crude, cruel. <laughs> I don't want that to be... Uh, showing through, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to see that, in other words. Oop. <laughs> no, let's see, where is it again? Crude and cruel. No, I do not want to. I still cannot cut straight. Oh, gosh. How silly of me. Well, if you are still with me, I certainly appreciate you sticking with me on this video. Like I said, I'm really glad to be back. And um, I want to do more videos. I really do. So, um, I shall try my best to get some more done. Because I certainly don't want to lose you as my wonderful subscribers. So, where is that? Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and just put it right there. I think that'll work really well. And this is very, very sticky. And I want to go ahead and trim this off in the back. So, yeah. But anyway... Oh my, I gotta throw that away. I am going to throw that away. Yes, if it'll come off my finger. <laughs> okay, so basically, this is what it looks like, and it looks very colorful. Um, I kind of started out with um, some dictionary pages from My Daydreaming Heart. She has a lot of other things on her Etsy shop, so if you want to check that out and go to her Etsy shop, I'm sure she would really appreciate it. And let's see. Uh, let's kind of maybe, I don't know. What do you think? Let's kind of cover that up a little bit maybe, huh? It's kind of, what do you call it, um, very, what is the word I'm looking for, people? Vintage. It is vintage. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do that, too. Yeah, let's just kind of put that right in there, I think. Or maybe right in there. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's just put down one more thing. But, um, I have made two orders, one off of scrapbook.com and one off of another website. Yes, I do most of my shopping online. <laughs> Could I go to Hobby Lobby? Probably, but Hobby Lobby doesn't always carry everything that I'm looking for, so. 
They carry a lot of things. And, you know, we got a Michaels here in town. We used to have a Michaels a long, long time ago, and I used to like to go to that um, store, but I don't know what it is now. I feel like they're a little bit on the um, expensive side on a lot of their things. Unless, of course, they're having a wonderful sale. Let's see. Is there any other thing I want to cover up there or anything? Let me see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before I let you go, let me see if there is anything I can use. Oh. Oh. No, that's not what I want. You know what? No, I don't want to. I don't really want to get up right now. So I'm not going to go get that thing that I was thinking of. Uh, let me see. No, it's not that either. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I don't think I want this bug in here. He almost looked real to me. He looks like a Japanese beetle. <laughs> I don't want him on my page, but I, you know, I don't mind a um, they call these things toadstools or mushrooms. So let's see where we can put um, this one, maybe. Huh, or maybe up here, possibly. Ew, the word crypt doesn't really. <laughs> Doesn't really um, excite me there too much. Not really. <laughs> I don't go for scary movies. The only kind of movies that I will watch that are kind of um, what I call thrillers is like North by Northwest. I don't mind that particular movie. I don't watch it all the time or anything, but I like, um, I don't like all of Cary Grant movies, but I do like, I do happen to like North by Northwest. And that, ew, that just kind of got on there and that book page then. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the toadstool up there. What do you think? Normally I don't work with mushrooms, but... That mushroom, yes, I think I will use that. I just found that in my little ephemera box. And anyway, there we go. There's really no rhyme or reason to this, but when I do my next video, we will be doing something with this, okay? So we'll probably be making either tags or we're going to be making um, some sort of little something. We'll just make something with it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for joining me uh, this evening. And like I said, um, if you are a regular subscriber to my channel, I certainly do appreciate that you have decided to, um, you know, hang around. And I will definitely try my best to um, keep you all updated. And I don't want to be, <laughs> um, I don't want to be gone for as long as I was before. So thank you, and I will let you guys go. All right, and if I don't, um, well, I'm going to try to get a video up probably, I'm going to say, before New Year's. Um but anyway, until then, I want to say God bless you and um, thank you again. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye.